go. Dance away. Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vini's here. And shenanigans has showed up again. We can't run her off. Nope. <laughs> can't get rid of her. We don't want to run her off. <laughs> I was gonna say, wouldn't if we, wouldn't if we could. We would be so I'm sad. We would be so sad. <laughs> Shit. Now, of course, Amber's back, so now we have double mamas in the, in the, in the business. <laughs> you walk at the door to one mama in the front, one mama in the back, right? <laughs> no. I'm all right with it. Y'all, we're making a last-minute Father's Day card, so you get to dig into your stash and make something fun. Now, listen, you guys have been asking me about this box. I mean, I keep doing it. Every, that's every time I say it. This book binding card. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you how. I'm going to show you my version. Now. I've seen a lot of people doing them lately, and ironically, Tamitha said she just did one, and she loved it. So I got Tamitha to send me her measurements, but then I changed them. Um, where's my other? What did I do with it? I had a scoreboard right there. Did it get moved? Oh, we are one right beside you. One. There it is. Wrong one. I don't want to use that one, because if I do, you'll be asking me about it, and I can't get it anymore, and I don't have it, so I'll put the one you can get up here. Um, so I changed them a little bit, but I'll explain to you why, and I'll show you what you can do, okay? So book binding is simply making an extra couple of score marks and gluing the edge down a little bit, okay? Um, I wanted this to happen. Let me show you my marks real quick. So the first thing you do, this is a four and a quarter by uh, 11, eight and a half by, by 11 inch uh, piece of cardstock. We're gonna score it in these places, okay? I'm gonna score it four and a quarter, my measurements go there over there. I'm going to score it five and a half, just like I normally would, because I want it to fold where it normally folds. And then I'm going to score it at six and three fourths, just like that. So that's the scores I'm making, okay? So four and a quarter, five and a half, and six and three fourths. But the reason for that is I wanted this to be a square. So I was being a little bit picky. So the way I got my measurement was I just did my regular score. And then when, if I want to be a square, this is four and a quarter. So I want to come in four and a quarter, if that makes sense. <laughs> the tickle's already started, and we just got started. Okay, so that's my base, and now we're going to play. We're going to decorate and make it super cute, we hope. I don't know what it's going to look like. I've designed it, but we'll see. Now, with these score marks, here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to fold the middle one um, up. Fold the middle one up, line everything up, crease this down. Kim likes your nails. Thank you. This is the first time you're all going to see them, I think. I think so. <clears throat> I think you'll see them uh, on the Saturday video for the real first time. Now, what happens here is you end up with this piece that's going to be a flap. So I'm going to fold it back, crease it, and then on the back side, I guess you technically don't have to have that one. Maybe you don't even need that one. I'm going to do it. If you don't want this back to fold, just don't do that last score. Just do the ones you just did. So anyway, so it looks like that, okay? This we're going to glue together. So I'm going to open this up. Oh, no. Oh, I thought our glue was up front. Thank you, Shannon. <laughs> we were doing a project for um, one of my friends um, is a peach pageant contestant, and she needed some little thank you, give, not gifts, but she needed me to make some little tags for her gifts that she gives to the other contestants, and so we had glue up front making peaches. Has she come got them yet? Yeah, she was making peaches. I missed her. They came while we were at lunch. Show sure enough. Okay, so I'm gluing that down. And that's really the book binding. It means you can do it any way you want. I want you to look at this. You can do it sideways like this. You can have your card go up and down like this. You can do it with a five by seven. You can do it with a slim line. You can do it with a mini slim line. You can, I mean, you could do this. The t this is the thing, the book binding part. Super easy, okay? So I love how these, thing these things kind of rotate back into fashion or into style. All right, so here's what we're doing today. We're using three stamp sets. We're using Suit Up, um, Best Dad, and All About Him. Yeah, it's a lot. You think? Well, I mean, you know, it's now, Father's Day. <laughs> it is Father's Day. We've got to go all out. So my first piece is a square that is four and a quarter. No, no, no. These are not right. Let me trim these down and tell you the measurements real quick. I was hurrying, and I did it wrong. These two should be four by four. Okay, because I want them to sink in a little bit. And I did them four and a quarter by four and a quarter. That makes them the actual size, but I don't want them to be the actual size. I want them to sink in a little bit. You want to leave a little border around. Mm -hmm. So we'll do that number. Okay. So now what we have is this piece for here. And what it's going to do, everything's 
blurry with those on. What it's going to do is it's going to sink in a little bit, and it's going to be the same even at our little binding fold, okay? Then my inside piece, because I'm using a dark piece of cardstock, is going to do the same thing. And I'll be putting my sentiment on here and a place to sign so we have, because it's a dark cardstock. All right, let's build what's going on top. We're not going to put these on just yet. Move those out of the way. Okay. I did some pre-stamping because I had to do a lot, all right? So we're going to do some cutting together real quick. So I pre-stamped this onto white. Then, can you see my tie is stamped there? I went back and stamped the tie on this plaid, and then I have the belt on some brown. So I'm going to start cutting these out, and then we can, if y'all want to chat about anything, we can chat about stuff. But um, let me say this real quick. I only need the collar and the tie and the belt, so I don't have to have the tie twice, I just need the tie once, and I only need the collar once. So now, if there's stuff to chat about, it is the time. Um, is this like a new design for you, or? I've never, I don't remember making one, but it's not new to me. I've seen it before, but I don't remember making one. But I have noticed, I, I don't remember who I saw make it recently. I want to say, actually I do, I think it was Dawn Stamping. Dawn Stamping Thoughts. I don't know if y'all watch her. I think I saw her make one recently. Then I saw Tam at the Post one because she made one and then she colored it. And last week on the live show, it seemed like somebody asked me if I would make one. Didn't somebody ask about that, Shannon? Book Possibly. binding? I, I, I just remember somebody asking me. So Can I thought. Can these be layered to make a small mini album? Um, oh, sure they could. Matter of fact, Shannon and I discovered something today we think is really cool. Yes. We've got to work it out but we think we've got a little something new that we can do with it. So I need the collar, there's that. Now I need the tie. Notice how I did this, I did this on purpose. I can reuse this tie, because I stamped it before. I can um, cut this out and then I can dye color it or I can stamp it or I can ink drag it or whatever, but I want this plaid one. And I'm not gonna worry about the collar on this one because I'm not gonna be using that plaid collar for anything I know of. Valerie loves watching you fussy cut. Ah, thanks. I love to fussy cut. It's fun. I love to fussy cut, which is good because um, I did a lot of fussy cutting on our latest samples for the Scripture Club. That comes out, I think, Monday, that video? Yep. Um, Tuesday, I just went ahead and filmed my process. So Tuesday, we're going to put up the process of me making my sample. You'll see all that next week. It's super cute, though. Tim, I've been a little ahead. Timothy said, I'm on fire. We're pretty far ahead. I've got a couple of videos coming out for you guys that are bonus videos. One with the stamp. Do y'all remember me telling you about the stamp we got in stock that is the personalized stamp? And I told you I would get mine done and then film the process. So that happened last week. And so I finished the last video of that today. So Timothy will be editing that together. So you'll probably see that one pretty soon. Um, then I got another video. I got so many things working. We busy, ain't we, Shannon? Yes. Yeah, and if you think Amber won't remind us, you wrong. <laughs> She's good at that. She got us this week when she said, um, y'all have this many days. We know. She triggered us. She really set us off, didn't she? It was funny. So for this, I just think this is the perfect piece to put on that binding. It's so, I think it's going to work really cute. Um, I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. Let's get this little guy cut out. So while we're sitting here, because I want to talk to y'all about something, I have been doing a lot of YouTube research. I want to grow my channel, and I've been paying attention to a lot of the analytics, which I typically don't do. But I got this new book I've really been enjoying, and I've been paying attention. So this weekend, you might have been a part of it. You might have been a part of my surveys that I did, my posts, my polls, I should say, where I ask a lot of questions. Something I discovered, and I think you guys are going to be shocked because you're always here on Thursdays during the day. At least our current watchers, our replay viewers are not going to be shocked by this information. But I was surprised to find out that 70 to 80% of our viewers watch us on a replay situation, not on the first time we upload. Which says to me that the majority of our viewers can't watch until after work. Um, or they're, you know, the days just don't work for them. I've also been told by so many people that are coming into the shop now since we opened back up that they catch the replay. So Vince and I have been talking, and we would like to do a nighttime live. I even did 
a poll about that too to ask if y'all would like that. And a lot of you guys were like, yes, please do a nighttime live. We don't know how that's going to look just yet, but we know we want to do it. So what I want to bring to you guys today, our current watchers, the first thing I want to ask you is, would you be able to function if we didn't do a daytime live on Thursdays, we only did a nighttime live? Same that you get now, but at night instead of in the daytime. That's the first thing I want to bring to you. So that's for you guys to tell me now because that's for watchers. If you're a replay watcher, go ahead and tell me how much you would enjoy that. If that would be something that would be helpful for you as well for us to go live at night. Just a couple reasons it would be good. One is because it's fresh for everybody then. Um, and the other reason is because it would, it would really help my channel to be live when people are watching. That's just a thing that helps. So I want to hear y'all's opinion on that. Like, we know some of you are going to be like, the only time I can catch you live is during the day. You know, I'm never going to be able to get everybody, but we want to try to get the majority of folks watching live. And that doesn't mean I'm taking your show away. I just want to know what you think. Would you come at night if we did it at night? Okay, I'm using some distress ink. This is smoky, I mean, <laughs> smoky, stormy sky. And I'm using the houndstooth stamp from the All About Him set. I didn't quite get the ink far enough down. Now, this is distressed. Remember how I told you I wanted to kind of do a distressy look? If this comes out distressy, that's fine. It's not really what I'm going for. But this blue, I think, is so pretty. Shannon found it to match the tie. There's a little light blue running through it, and we just thought this would be really pretty. So let's see. So see, that's a little distressy, and I don't dislike it. I like it. This is what I was telling y'all. Look how cool that looks. I was afraid of this. My camera didn't want to focus earlier, so I don't. But you can see kind of the variation of color. It's a little more uh, distressed than that in person, but we're going to go with that. I think it looks pretty. Did you see it? It looks cool. I'm going to put this here because that's going to have to be cleaned. It'll go everywhere. See, it's already there. Okay, so that is the, um, so far, the stamps we're doing. Let's go ahead and stamp the inside of the card. I never do that. Never. I'm going to stamp the inside of the card from Best Dad with Happy Father's Day. I just think that'll be cute in there. Do I need to look away? No, this is not yours. If anybody's, this is your dad's. Because I think this is probably perfect for him. Um, stamp that down. All right. Ah, oh, cute. I like it. Yeah, this gives you plenty of room to write something sappy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, that might have sounded mean. We joke about it. I never give a serious card, and Vince always gives this sweet, sappy card, and I always feel bad because he always does these beautiful cards. All right, let's get ready to build it. So, let's go back to here. This is the, um, let me show you what this is. This is the piece that fits here on the front of the card, and let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to do some popping up with some foam. So, here is my collar. And here's some foam. I want to use these little foam squares so I don't have to slice. So here's my collar. And because I'm doing white on white, I think it'll work really well to pop this up on foam. So that's what we're going to do. Put this one on here. I think, are that, no, here they are. Good. Because of where this is going to be, I want to make sure I get plenty of foam on it. Because it's going to be, because it's pretty fragile as it is, because it's just such a little piece that we've cut. So, these fingernails come in handy. Well, not there. Sometimes they come in handy. I was influenced. I told uh, Tamitha said, your nails look so good. I was like, I was influenced. Shannon went with me. That's my fault. It was actually Taylor's fault, let's be honest. Yeah, Taylor Taylor made us want our nails. Taylor went and got her nails done. They were so cute. Shannon, when's the last time we had our nails done? You hadn't had yours oh, done. Oh, gosh, I hadn't had mine done since, well... Oh, it's been at least 13, 14 years. Yeah, I haven't had mine done. I even got a pedicure. I never, ever, yeah, ever. About the same with a pedicure. I <laughs> don't do them. And so I, she, we were both like, we want our nails done. We wanted it. So we went and did it. But they do come in handy. All right, I need to know what, peop, what, our, what our people are saying about the question I posed to them. Kind of getting a mixed response, actually. Okay. That's not unusual. And typically, I get 50-50. But I didn't know my polls on Instagram. I was surprised by that. They were very, very far the other way. So what, what do you mean by, what are some responses? Um, well, our international viewers like it like it is because, you know. They like can watch you. One lady in particular said, you know, it's 7 o'clock at night in see? the UK now. See, that makes it perfect. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's perfect for her. Yeah. Um, 
Some have things to do at night with their families, so they wouldn't be able to watch. It's it's a it's going to be a an interesting balance for us to figure it out. I know that's why. I mean, you guys are our our viewers. You are the ones who are watching in the daytime, so that makes sense that those would be your concerns. And um, some of them have said because their families at home at night, husbands are home, stuff like that. It would be easier for them if it was in the daytime. I see what you're saying. So we may do a blend of some kind. I'm not sure. I'm not going to pop the tie up because I think it looks good kind of tucked under the collar. So I'm just going to glue it straight down. So we may have to do some sort of blend. I don't know what it's going to be, but I can tell you if you are a replay watcher, we are doing something for you guys. There's way too many of you. Like if I told you all the numbers, there's way too many of the replayers. Um, so many of you don't get to watch us live. It's I had no idea how many it was. That is so cute. It is really cute. Like now it's more than 80% of our viewers come at night. 80%, more than 80% of our views come at night. That's wild, isn't it? All right, I'm going to cut this bottom part off because it hangs over and we don't need it. We don't need it. And I know you're like, oh, this is not gonna look good. Trust me, just turn it over and do it. You'll still have a shirt and tie when we turn it back over. Look. It's still a shirt and tie. It does not affect the look. I know it feels like it will, but it doesn't. All right. I mean, so if, it, if it bothers you, you can always just let it hang it. off and make a bigger. Fold it up like <laughs> it's, going over. it's going over. <laughs> no, I'm just saying if you took the tie that's there and just tipped it. Oh yeah, you could do that. It doesn't bother me. Tipped is probably not the right word. The reason I was saying that is so many people get worried when they cut things off because they think it's going to change, but it doesn't. It's amazing. It's kind of like a mystery card. Just go with it. Just trust it. Trust the process. We're going to glue this one straight down. All right. Replay watchers, y'all will be watching later. Tell me what you think about the time at night that show should be. I'm leaning towards 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's going to be a lot for us. It'll be a lot, but. All right. Here's my plan for this little guy. I want to put it here. So I need to trim on it a little bit. Let me get my trimmer. I don't really want to do a weekend night because we need time with our family too. And I think more people would be with their families on a weekend night, would you think? Yep. All right, I'm gonna cut this down to four inches tall. I've been getting a lot of advice from folks, like a lot. Like I've been asking every, every YouTuber I know, I've been on this YouTube group talking to them and asking, you know, how, what's the balance, what do you do? And we're gonna try to work it out. One inch. So this is going to be one by four. Perfect. Now then, this is going to live here in our little section over here. I think that's cute. And you might not can tell on camera, but that blue is almost the same blue running through there. It might be doing something funny. You really can't see this hound's teeth very well, but it's real cute. At least my monitor's not showing it very well. this down here all right now this is where I was iffy but I think it will be cute I know that the belt would be at the bottom of the tie but I think this would be cute running up the side as a little feature isn't that cute I think it's cute it looks like a man right so this one needs to be four four inches tall to me if you put it on the side it makes it look like a watch band that's fine I just think it's either. masculine. To, and, you know, I don't want to put ribbon or twine or anything over there. I see that a lot, and it looks good on a lot of these. But I wanted something a little bit masculine over here, and I thought this would be cute, kind of like the belt going up the side. It does kind of look like a watch band now that you say it. I like that idea. Color it in. You got an Apple Watch right there. I love how that looks. Yeah, that's true. If you put it this way and then did a different face, you could have a watch. You know, color this in. That would be cute. We're going to go with the belt. Still cute, cute with belt. I think it's cute. I like it. I think it really does something to that side. And guess what? It's yours. It's my card. That's, all that matters. That's right. The card I'm making. It is the card I'm making. I really like that. Well, it's kind of ours because it's kind of both. We did do it. this together. <laughs> now I'm thinking. So, who gets the front? Who gets the back? This is where I always go too far. Where'd my pen go? That's why you don't need to do it. Can't find you think it's a sign? I don't, I don't know. I'm just guessing. It's not. What pen are you looking for? 
Well, I swear I had it right. It's blooping on. It's probably looking me in the face. You know what's funny? I have not lost a pen in so long, and now I do it live on YouTube. That's hilarious. It's probably in the floor for, for all I know. Okay, let's do this. This let's take it too far. Of course. Right. You always have to go. Yes. Just a little too far. Just At least one that's step what too you far. Say to me. Uh, just one step too far. Glossy accents. Let's do it. Let's make this buckle shine. I thought you were looking for an ink pen. Not I haven't used this one in a while, so I don't know. It's weird because I put it right here to hand. I always so put you it. You wouldn't lose it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 it was under under ink. Oh, it's so cute. I hope you enjoy it now because once I mess it up, it's not going to be cute anymore. Because you know. I just think a color, I mean, a shiny belt buckle would be cute. Enjoy it now. Yeah, it appears that our international viewers are already watching it at night. Yeah. And so if you put it at 7 o'clock at night, they would have to watch the replay. Yeah, Heidi, you'll always be able to watch the replays no matter what time. Yeah. Yeah, because like I said, most of our viewers do watch the replay. And nothing's set in stone, so nobody go crazy. You guys, We're this, just getting opinions. this is a habit. This is a thing that happens. Anytime we mention something like this, people start to panic. And there's no need to panic because the last thing I'm going to do is take, take myself away from you. I want to get to more of you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to, we're not trying to pull ourselves away. We're trying to make it where everyone has the best experience, which is why I said we probably would add a show rather than take one away. So I don't want anybody to panic. And it doesn't matter what I say. People will panic. They just they they just feel like, I don't know why that is, because the last thing I want to do is not let y'all see us. But it always is the case whenever we talk about um, doing anything new or different, because people don't like change. People panic about change. And listen, if, if change didn't exist... I mean, no, we would we would be so miserable. Well, if change didn't exist, you wouldn't have YouTube. No, and if I was still doing what I was doing I mean, the first, if I was still doing what I was doing when I uploaded orange sliced pumpkins, come on, that would be so boring. You know what I'm saying? Like we gotta we gotta evolve. I can't work with you with the orange sliced pumpkins. <laughs> I'd eat them. It's very tempting. I love I decided slices. these buttons need to be glossy because they would be. And there ain't nothing better than she dips them in that white chocolate. He stuff. loves I haven't those. had that before. <sighs> Dream sickle all day. Oh, See, this is where I messed sickle. it up. And I did not glue this if in. If you dip it in the regular chocolate, it's pretty good too. Not as good. No, I like it in me. dark chocolate because it looks like a chocolate orange. Real good. Real good. Either milk chocolate, but dark chocolate with that. But I like, you know, fruit filled chocolate. Yeah. Uh, Debbie, you can go to www.maymaymadeit.com to order products from us. I'm just going to stick this in here without, I'm just doing it fast. Done. Um, also, let me say this to you. If you guys don't follow us on Instagram, I get, this is where I do a lot of my polls. We have, we only have 17,000 people over there. That sounds like I'm, we ha that's a lot of people. But that's where I do a lot of my polls because it's easy to do them over there. I can do them on YouTube, but they kind of don't get seen when I do them on YouTube. Um, so go ahead to Instagram and follow us. Plus, our design team, between our blog and Instagram, they really, really put a lot of a lot of content out constantly. So you don't want to miss that either. All right, there it is. My Father's Day book bind is that book binding card, which is really cute, isn't it? It's it's a cute different idea. There's so much you can do with it. You could um, I've seen people like notch half holes on the side and then run a ribbon around it and tie a bow over here, which is really cute. I like it. There's a lot you can do with it, and I just like the square. Like it's especially I've told y'all before. Anytime you make your focal point area smaller, it makes your stamps bigger. You know, mm -hmm. so doing that makes your stamps even have more. Um, more impact. So look, it's good. I like it. I, I feel like I've done something like this where I've poked holes in the side. Maybe that's a, an album. I have done a mini album like this where you make the pages, you poke the holes, you put a ribbon in it. And I actually did it with envelopes. So I have done that. Um, there we go. That is our book book bound card for today. We did it in 30 minutes. You did good. Wouldn't have if I hadn't done all that pre-stamping because that was all we had to do. This was a lot of stamping between all of this, you know, and getting it all and picking out colors and stuff. By the way, this um, this paper came from the God Bless America pack. So if you still have some of that laying around, 
That's why I say Easy don't dad, do not only buy paper packs that are that aren't themed because I find the first pack we looked at for a plaid that we loved was the craft pack. Uh -huh. Then the second plaid we loved was the God bless the God bless America. I just had a list. God bless America pack. So don't just buy packs you think are neutral. All packs are neutral. Uh, Connie, I don't know why you wouldn't see me in your feed. We upload. Tamitha, how many days a week do you upload? How many days a week do you upload on Instagram? And I, I post to stories. I'm trying to post to stories more, but it's hard for me to remember. I forget that. Um, and it might even be that there might be a setting where you have to like, you know, on YouTube, you have to ring the bell. Y'all may not understand ring the bell, but on YouTube, you may have to do that too. But also remember, you can always go and check out our blog. Tamitha does such a good job. It's at maymaymadeit.info. Of any time we have a video loading, she's over there posting about it. Also, our Discord. I have an actual robot on Discord that every time I upload something to YouTube, Discord lets you know. So there's lots of different ways to get updates from us. <laughs> if change didn't exist, we'd still be living outside wearing fig leaves. I would not look good in a fig leaf. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't catch me outside. I would need more of a couple palm leaves. <laughs> like Give me big, the tree. Big palm leaves. <laughs> Give me the tree. <laughs> okay, so we're posting almost daily. Cool beans, cool beans. I, I mean, I see them, but I, I'm an Instagram fan. I'm an Instagram fan. I love it. All right, guys, we're going to go to the after show. We have a lot to show you. Do we have a lot to show? Yeah. That and all this. Lot to show. Lot to show. Oh, she did get all that stuff in too? Yeah. Lot to show in the after show today, y'all. It's exciting. Pretty. And um, we'll talk more about, you know, that we can talk more about your comments and things. All right, guys. Um, has Tamitha put the link to the after show? I've got her doing it. I'm going to pause for a second and let her put the link to the after show in. If you don't know and you're watching on the replay, we always have an after show. I feel like most of you guys know because the after show a lot of times gets more views than the crafter show, which is so interesting to me. Um, but you guys like whenever we talk about whatever we want, elephant <laughs> elephant ear leaves. That's more right, Tamitha. That's what I would need. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're so funny. Okay, there's the link to the after show. We will see you guys there in just a few minutes. Bye now.